from the TraderGuy.com. This is Chris taking a look at the upcoming 13th of December. And in front of you, I have the Kiwi Yen pair. I'm kind of avoiding the U.S. dollar if I can during the day, uh, mainly because of the Federal Reserve and the likelihood that its statement, not necessarily the rate hike, will greatly influence where we go next. Because of this, it's probably best to step away. The Kiwi Yen, as you can see, has been in a downtrend for some time, but we have broken above the 50-day exponential moving average for the first time in a while. We find ourselves at the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level, so there could be a bit of resistance here. As I zoom in, I look at this, and this is an area where you would expect some type of trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the bottom of this candle, and at 78.25, I'd be a seller if we can break down below there. Uh, at that point, I think a move to 77 is very reasonable, and truthfully, we're probably looking a little closer to maybe 76 and a quarter or so, which is basically the lows. Alternately though, um, and I would, by the way, have my stop loss above the daily high. Alternately though, if we managed to break above the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, which I'm gonna call 79.60, then it becomes a buy looking for the 8080 handle. So, very interesting candle. I think this is more or less a binary trade. We go in one direction or the other, uh, but keep in mind that there is a lot of noise between here and that 50% Fibonacci retracement level. So, I do prefer the downside. It kind of jives nicely with the longer term outlook of the Kiwi dollar itself. So, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, just pay attention to this candle a break in one direction or the other should give you a general idea as to where we go next